Operations Officer and co-founder of Matai uh, Medical Research Institute, or as we like to say in the Matai Fano, Te Mata Matai Hura. Um, it's a name gifted us to us by tohunga and artist uh, Mark Kupua. Matai means to investigate, and Te Mata Matai Hura means the investigating, revealing eye. Um, so it's uh, my pleasure to share with you the Matai journey over the last three years. As Justin mentioned, we opened our doors in October 2020, and what a three years we've had. That same day, we went live with a state-of-art GE Healthcare 3T Premier MRI machine, which allows us to see inside the body using a huge magnet and radiofrequency waves. It is safe because we don't use radiation. Over the last three years, what's helped us to move really fast at Matai is our wonderful partnership with GE Healthcare, and especially would like to mention Dr. Hari Kumar, our on-site GE scientist, who is with us three, three, on average three days a week and is right behind in the background, um, making sure that we have everything we need to advance medical research and innovation in Tairawhiti. We've invested a lot of our time over the last three years connecting and working alongside our community to develop, implement and translate our research. And Samantha and I and all of us at Mato would like to take this opportunity to thank you, our community, all of you who have contributed in many ways. We wouldn't be here without you. We're also proud that we can provide access to such an advanced state-of-art MRI machine to our community through a clinical service, a very comprehensive clinical service. It provides advanced imaging such as cardiac MRI, prostate MR, and spectroscopy. Um, it's really um, a privilege to just talk about some of our achievements to date. And I say it's a privilege because a lot of people told Samantha and I that what we wanted to create here in Tairawhiti couldn't be done in Tairawhiti. Um, so I'm just here to tell you that we've absolutely done it. Um, and just to describe some of those things, we've created over 50 jobs with Matai and our wider projects. We've, I'm a bit blind actually. We've um, employed 17 staff. We've got, um, we've had over 63 uh, students and interns. We've got over 100 collaborations, 15 research projects, 12 principal investigators. Uh, we've had 46 research outputs. Uh, we've hosted 28 community events and we've had been able to um, provide or award over 20 school leaver scholarships. Um, and we've been invited to over 20 keynotes uh, and invited talks. We've also promised right at the begin very beginning that we would put Matai on the world stage. And Samantha and I thought it would be really important to show that in 2023, we were right there on the world stage um, and this is an example of us at a, a large international conference. Um, and you'll see here Dr. Samantha Holdsworth was a keynote speaker um, with the GE Healthcare uh, Global Group. And she was presenting in front of thousands of people, talking about you, talking about Mata and this community and all the wonderful things that we're doing here in terms of medical research and innovation and also with our, with our young ones coming through. We also um, were able to listen to our own charge MRI tech, Mr. Paul Condren, who was talking about some of the wonderful innovations that we've been um, collaborating on at Matai. So he spoke a number of times at this international conference. Um, but it was a real privilege to be telling the world about Matai and the great mahi. A great passion of mine, and I'll take a couple of minutes to talk about this, is how we're prioritising our own youth by creating a STEM pipeline. Our kids are working towards careers in medical imaging, medicine, physics, engineering, computer science, software, psychology and neuroscience, and I would have missed a few out. The intern program at Matai has allowed our kids to come home from university during the summer break to reconnect with their whānau, their identity, in their communities, 
The program is holistic and embraces community engagement, maturanga Māori, waiata, arts, music, research, imaging, and leadership development. The interns have shared with me that the program at Mato reminds them why they've gone to um, study away from home and reminds them why they need to come back and give back to their community. Last week, we welcomed home 23 interns and a total of 49 interns to date since we opened our doors at Mato. We've awarded over 21 school leaver scholarships, which I spoke to before, for our own Gizzy kids. We're supporting three of our PhD students who came through our intern program, and all three are yours. They're from home. Finally, a very exciting development for Matai is our new building. For those that um, reside here in Tairawhiti, Gisborne, you will know that um, we're next to the Gisborne Netball, uh, Netball Courts car park. Um, Matai is currently in two locations and um, we're bursting at the seams after three years and we have this wonderful new building next to the netball car park on Childers Road which will bring both our teams together so we're very excited. We're on track to go live in May um, and we're getting ready um, thanks to Molly Pada, our kaumatua and Papataina Narimu who have been holding our hands to organise our opening ceremony. We've also been working with key stakeholders and the community on a vision for the rest of the site and discussing a translational medical imaging research and innovation campus. And I'd like to also acknowledge Corpus Mintz for your help in um, pulling that vision for our campus together. So on that note, if you want to put your gumboots on and your rain jackets this Saturday because it's looking pretty wet, mm -hmm please come down and chat to us at our new site. Meet our team, learn more about Mātai and our roadmap to the future. Kia ora. Kia ora, Lee. Um, I just want to say just how much of a pleasure it is to work alongside Lee. Um, Lee with my research hat on and Lee with her clinical and operations hat. It's just been amazing, Lee, uh, building the team together. Um, so I'm just going to talk a bit about, first of all, I did actually have another slide in here which is not there, but I am actually also a Associate Professor at the University of Auckland and a Principal Investigator at the Centre for Brain Research, as well as the Research Director. I just want to acknowledge that um, just all of our wonderful um, University of Auckland whānau as well that contributed to this current research that we're going to talk about as well. Um, so what you'll see there uh, is a range of different research projects that we have going at Mātai. Um, three or four years ago, you may, some of you may remember that we started with this concussion project. That was our core focus, but that's grown to up to 15 research programmes now. And you'll see there's a real range of different research projects, uh, but the bit of a theme there is brain, brain research. We've got some orbits research that we're doing with Professor Dinesh Meyer, Dr. Jesse Gale, and Dr. Graham Wilson. Um, you'll see some prostate cancer, prostate cancer pathway there. Um, some wonderful work we're doing with um, the Auckland Bioengineering Institute and Jeff Hunsfield around muscle skeletal modelling. Um, so there's a real range of different projects there, and I'm not going to go into detail. I'm happy to talk about uh, a lot of these in the, in the breaks if anyone's interested, but. I'll just, uh, just really just talk about one of the things that really linking a lot of these different projects is the world-class neuroimaging and imaging in general that we're doing on our scanner. You can see there a range of different methods that we're using to look at the brain in different ways. So you'll see, for example, uh, the, the rows on, the, on the, the, the column on the left there, it's some structural imaging, we've got blood flow imaging, we've got amplified MRI, which I'll talk about, which is a way of looking at the brain moving. On the right, you're looking at wiring, function, ble bleeds, and we're using these methods in a way and combining them in a way so we can get better biomarkers of, of diseases. And the real neat thing about this is that we're doing studies, and Josh is going to be talking about this tomorrow, so I do encourage you to come to listen more about our concussion projects. But real, the key thing to why this data is so special and so world class is because we've got this wonderful partnership with Gisborne Boys High School where we've got links with the wonderful players, the whānau, the, the coaches, the school itself, which means that we can retain 
uh, retain the um, retain the, the athletes and acquire the, the top data. In fact, this is some of the world best data you would actually have ever seen in the world that we're acquiring. Um, and Josh is going to talk a little bit more about that. And the fact that we can do this in Gisborne alongside our community is just a real privilege for, for Mato. Uh, Lee and, and Hari spoke about our Tairapiti Child Imaging Pilot Study. This is a real dream project for us where where by using the system to be able to get, collect really high quality data of all of the different organ systems and coupling that with the incredible work led by Professor Peter Hunter and the computational modeling that they're doing, uh, coupled with GE's knowledge, together with our community, we can create um, an, a database that's unmatched and unparalleled in the world. Uh, methamphetamine research, we're going to have uh, Professor Miriam Scadding and Dr. Miriam Taby talk more about this, but this is just a really, uh, an, a really wonderful project which has been funded by the Fred Lewis Enterprise Foundation. And this is all a, a really a huge community project where we're looking at seeing how people recover from, from methamphetamine use. And, um, and it's just a really neat community project where uh, the late Tutamat Naramu and uh, helped us get this project going. And we've got Wendy Mohe and Dr. Patrick McHugh all working together with the research team to see this, the, the fruits of this, of this work. And you'll see more about that in a couple of talks. I just want to acknowledge the work we're doing with our amazing ophthalmologists here, Jesse Gale, uh, Helen Dineshmeyer, and Graham Wilson. This is using our amplified MRI technology to be able to, to get better biomarkers of different eye diseases. We've also got Matt, Matt McDonald here, who was a, a PhD student with, with Matai under uh, Helen and my supervision, who's just recently graduated. And one of the key things for the future that we're looking to develop with, with Matai is to really expand on new technologies, new MRI technologies. And one of the ones that we're leading is this amplified MRI technology where we're taking images from the scanner, which are like movies, like MRI movies, and we're using an amplification algorithm to amplify the motion of the brain as the heart beats. And you'll see there on the left is the original data. You see on the right, you'll see the amplified movie, which has been amplified by, by 50 times to be able to see the brain move. And the basic underlying thought we had is if we different pathologies affect brain motion, and if we were able to visualize that motion by amping it up, it means we can help potentially come up with biomarkers of different brain diseases. And we're applying that technology to a range of different applications, aneurysms, looking at aneurysm stability. We're using, we're um, collaborating with Dr. Vicky Shim, who will be talking tomorrow about concussion impact simulations. We're using that as an input into her models. We're looking at obstructive disorders of the brain, such as Chiari malformation, and also diseases that affect brain pressure in collaboration with Auckland Bioengineering Institute and uh, the Auckland Eye Institute. And, um, and there's also applications to dementia, as well as, as I mentioned before, uh, the orbits as well. So that's a huge collaboration. We've got uh, 50 or so, at least 50 people working on this project, uh, all these different projects related to this technology, which is being developed um, and pushed at Matai. I just want a quick mention of the targeted MRI, and Paul uh, Condren is going to be talking later tonight on this. Um, and this is a really, really exciting development where we're working alongside our scientific advisory board member and Kiwi pioneer, Emeritus Professor Graham Bitter, who has created a new framework for looking at, um, looking at different, uh, it be able to see the brain in a way that's not, never been seen before. And I do encourage you to stick around for Paul's talk because it's, it's pretty amazing what we can do with that method. Um, the future, we're we'll really looking to build up these, this Tarafti study, building up helping, working alongside Auckland Bioengineering Institute to build up this predictive modelling using the imaging and um, also to expand our collaborations. Tomorrow night we've got a wonderful talk by Professor Karen Waldy and uh, Professor, Associate Professor Justin Fernandes and, and Gina Waters on this particular project which is an exemplar for how we like to work with people. Um, we want to expand our local and national and global network and really the future is, is is, um, is right there. We're really wanting to be quick and responsive, grow our research and education initiatives. We want to solve problems which are local here, but also can be translated globally. We want to be able to translate the solutions 
build expertise, and build expertise particularly in Tairawhiti. You can see a lot of Tairawhiti kids, as Lee said, are in this picture here. We want to leverage the talent that exists here. There's so much talent in Tairawhiti. It's, it's just incredible. We've, we've got so much opportunity here in our own region to, to grow that talent and also to grow our campus. And I just want to take the opportunity to thank, just sincerely thank all of our people who got Mata off the ground. We wouldn't be here without our community. Um, Mata has its roots deeply embedded in our community and it has so many incredible supporters. Um, you'll see many, just some of them listed here. I'm not gonna read them all out, but we just wouldn't be here without you. And we um, also wouldn't be here without our research participants and, um, and to our research team. We've got an incredible, incredible team. I do encourage you to try and meet some of our team. They're some of the best in the world that you'll see here, our, um, our research fellows. They're all smarter than I am. So, um, yeah, please, please come and, come and meet our team after in the breaks. So with that, I've gone over time. So, <laughs> so thank you so much. Okay. <laughs>